All right, so this is Odin Kai 2112 again, and we are covering the Wailing Host. Um, this is basically uh, the last boss mob for the City of the Dead, and you can see he's a big burly bastard. Uh, so basically my strategy in this one uh, was pretty much a direct frontal approach. Um, first couple attempts through this, I uh, <coughs> took him down to about uh, took him down about a quarter of his health, and he just kept regenerating, kept regenerating. Um, as you can see, I'm using uh, Echidna's uh, fangs here as my secondary, and this and a pretty decent scythe as my primary. Um, I'm mostly using the fangs, however, as you'll see as the video goes along. Um, uh, I'm relying heavily upon the fangs to keep my health up. I usually don't get down more than about a quarter of my health. And then I also have some uh, health regeneration gear and gear that uh, gives me health on crits. So uh, the faster I can swing my weapon and get crits, the, the higher my health health stays. So uh, through this first phase, basically what you want to do is you want to beat them on the... Uh, on the tentacles uh, and on the arms, and he'll slam down his his arms and his hands a few times. You can get a good couple of shots in, and then he'll basically fall over. Uh, the mistake I made the first couple go throughs was hitting him anywhere but in that mask. It's the little little thing that he's wearing over his face there. You got to sit there and hammer on that every time he hits the ground. Uh, in the second phase, uh, you turn into like a pillar of you know moving light, and he'll uh, spawn a bunch of uh, I guess ghost skeletons basically so you have to deal with a, a bunch of those as you can see my health isn't moving a, a, a lick through a lot of this even though I'm getting hit a little bit um, you know using uh, using my scythe to do some of the extra special attacks some of the harvest stuff uh, mostly just swinging with uh, uh, with the with the fangs there though, so you basically kill all the uh, the skeleton guys, and then he'll basically come back down into the pit, and then come back up so you can uh, you can beat him down again. Uh, fortunately, this is a pretty long fight. I mean, I think the entire fight lasted somewhere between seven and eight minutes. Uh, the second wave, after you uh, deal with the skeletons, they'll basically spawn while he's trying to smash you flat with his arms. Uh, it's basically the same thing. Deal with the skeletons as you need to. Uh, you know, beat them up for crits and life if you're using uh, using the fangs. And then basically take him down until he rests his head on the ground again. So we'll go through that. All right. Smashing them up. Uh, like I said before, Echidna's fangs are a fabulous weapon. Um, they keep you pretty good into health. And we got this big, ugly Cthulhu-looking motherfucker right here. You just keep beating on him and beating on him. You do some arm slashes. You know, at this particular point, I wasn't trying to do a lot of evading. Um, then you sit there and you got a little. Uh, a little B to, to rip his helmet off here. You can see how ugly this motherfucker really is. A little cut scene. Alright, there goes the mask. His baby pink face. And then he goes back down in the pit. Uh, during this phase, uh, not only do you have to contend with the skeletons, but you'll see what looks like oriental dragons floating around. Um, and now you'll have to avoid those. And then every once in a while they'll spawn what looks like a like a large there it is right there I don't know a bunch of symbols on the ground that kind of signifies where the where the dragon looking creature is going to come through the floor at you so if you stay off of those you'll usually avoid being hit by 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 those guys uh, just keep smacking down skeletons. You know, I mean, you can't really hit him until he uh, stops spinning, but you can uh, pretty much kill the skeletons 
as quickly as you can, avoiding the uh, the dragons there. I'm assuming they're dragons. I can't really tell. Uh, but they seem to me like the traditional uh, oriental style uh, water dragons. So, who knows. Alright, so killed all the uh, skeletons and the wailing soul basically pops back up. And now it's all about hitting him in the pink face. Avoiding his tentacles if you can. I really just went for the frontal assault, took the damage, and regenerated it as I was killing things. Uh, I guess it's kind of a brute force way to do it, but... Uh, I mean, it's the way that worked for me. You know, it could be a very well uh, combination of the uh, kidness fangs and some of the gear I, I was using. So, all right, just keep beating on him when he gets his face close to the close to the floor. Take care of skeletons as they pile up, and then basically in for the win. And in a second, he's gonna fall to the ground where you get to beat on his face a little bit. There you go. Take care of it. You get the the B to, to do the cutscene. You basically lop his head off. There we go, jump up there, you don't have to do anything. Pop down the uh, the rabbit hole and then a big bunch of loot pops out of the hole. So, alright, this is Odin Kai 2112 signing off. Thank you and have a nice day.